Hi everybody, thank you for joining us for part three, three. of our fall preview. I'm Yvonne Cohen. And I'm Mimi Torchin. We're Lady Parts TV, and this is the final part uh, of... Our three part fall preview. Fall preview for 2018. Television. Um, again, if there are other shows that at some point will add up to the roster because things always change, just make sure to follow our podcast, follow us on social media, and we will do our best to always... Follow our car. Oh no. <laughs> Please do not. That would be <laughs> Don't creepy. follow our car. Uh, so let's get to our final shows. All right. <laughs> uh, this is, it's definitely me because it's about football and my wife. It's even about, no, it's even for me though. I didn't expect it to be, but I really, really like the yep, trailer. It looked very, very good. Uh, and it's uh, based on the true story. Wait, let's tell them. Oh, it's called All American on CW, October 10th. Yes. And it's based on the life of NFL player Spencer Pazinger. And it's a drama about um, a high school football player who, uh, living in South Central LA, who is recruited to play football, it says, in, in Beverly Hills High. Mm -hmm. And it will be uh, some culture shock, and there will be pushback, and um, to me it's uh, Friday Night Lights uh, in Beverly Hills. The, uh, the recruiter, we should say, is Tay Diggs. Tay Diggs, yes. And, um, if, if you dig Tay Diggs. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, they this team needs help. They see that this boy... Uh, can bring it to them. But they're jealous. But they're, of course they're jealous of his talents. Uh, but this of his is, talents, of his success with their women, that they don't, are not happy yes. with his. And this, uh, of course, he has he's, his mother encourages him to do it. This is an opportunity for him to uh, go to college, have a better life. Uh, and um, But he's also, uh, he's, he's not, he's, it's hard for him to kind of betray his people his, by yeah. going to an all-white school. Uh, I think... It looked really good. Mm -hmm. It actually looked much better than a, what I usually expect yep. of the CW because the CW I think of more as like teenage stuff. And this, even though it's teenager, it's I felt that it's for adults. Yes, I, I, I think it will have a, a good message and I think that it will be told interestingly. And I like things about, uh, especially high school football. And even though I don't like things about football, this looked really good. Oh, I grew up in Texas and there's a very big culture of high school football in Texas. So, so All American on CW, October 10th. We're get, definitely going we're to We're definitely going to give it, it a try. Now we're definitely giving this <laughs> a try. Definitely giving so this, this a try. Is, this is the funny For so thing. many reasons. This is so funny because it's October 12th. It's on Amazon. It's called The Romanoffs. The Romanoffs. And besides the blurb here, which I can tell you about, the, tra the teaser trailer that Amazon released has nothing except for cast member names. And when we tell you the cast member names, you'll understand why they didn't feel it's like really they needed to give you need. And else. we don't even have all of the cast members. No, this there is just the ones that we care way, about. Way, way, way more people of great interest. Let's start with Diane Lane. Let's start need with, I, say I could more. stop, actually, with <laughs> Diane Lane. Let's continue with Isabelle Huppert. Need I say more? Not much. Amanda Peet. I love Amanda Christina Peet. Hendricks. Christina Hendricks. Catherine Hahn. Catherine Hahn. Noah Wiley. Mwah. And Clea Duvall. So just a very, very, just a few of them. There but are more of them. You haven't told them what it's about. So this is about it. For, oh, you might and, guess. And here's the other thing that you had me at. This is Matthew Weiner's new show. Matthew Weiner who made, who the did Americans. Mad Men. No, no. Oh, he didn't do? No. no, no, no. He did Mad Men, right. Sorry. He did Mad Men. Um, and this is a, an anthology series, and it's, I guess, all over the world about eight separate stories about people who believe that they are descendants of the Russian royal family, the Romanovs. I think that a lot of people think that they're descendant. Well, you, uh, you're part Russian. I'm part Russian, yes, but... Are you uh, royalty? No, uh, <laughs> my, my claim to a, a famous name, but un unfortunately the poor side of the family, is my great-grandmother was a Rothschild. But not maybe you relate to sadly, the giraffes. Sadly, not. Uh, that's what I say. I called him <laughs> kissing cousin when I that, I kissed a Rothschild giraffe I in a giraffe uh, and, and I, I liked it. it in Africa, yeah. and it was a Rothschild giraffe, and so I said we are kissing cousins. Anyway, this this absolutely sounds uh, fabulous to me. I can't wait. Both the cast, Matthew Weiner, and interesting sounding uh, I, premise. I almost wish that it was period. Because I love that period. <laughs> uh, it's so opulent and then it's so horrifying. Well, but I so am sad. I'm much happier to think about these people who think themselves to be Russian and what, royalty. And what effect is that going to have on their lives? It's exactly. going to be interesting to see how they use that premise. Exactly. I, I, it sounds fascinating. Mm -hmm. It does. October 12th, Romanoffs on Amazon. Now, October 14th is another reboot because we don't have enough of those. 
Uh, it's on CW and it's the reboot of Charmed. Now, I was never charmed by the Charms, uh, so I, I didn't watch the original. I watched a little thing. of it. I was happy because uh, my friend uh, Finola, Finola right? Hughes was in it, yes, and uh, anything Finn's in is great by me. So again, they usually when they do a reboot, they try to diversify it a little bit. So the, uh, You know, it's about three sister witches. Right. It's three right. sister witches. Their mother, I guess, dies, and uh, they realize that they inherited her powers. Um, they also find a long-lost sister. So the two sisters, the mother obviously, are Latina. Um, the, the main... Uh, it's an aunt Melanie that's involved too. Yes. Uh, you will recognize um, this the, is... the girl from Shades of Blue who plays uh, Jennifer Lopez's daughter in Shades of Blue. Uh, also the mother, uh, Valerie Cruz, I believe, right? Yes, you um, know her from a million things. Yes, we know her from one of our favorite Chanda shows that never made it, Off the Map. Off the Map, that was such a good show. Um, it's a, it's a lot about sisterhood. It's, you know, they have like this strong women, you know, like you, throughout history, strong women have been called witches. Well, this time they are witches. They are really women, witches. But uh, there's and, some feminism. Yep. Uh, and it comes there. from um, the Jane, Jane the Virgin writers, right. Jessica O'Toole and Amy uh, Rarden. Right. right. Um, and and a story by Jane Showrunner, Jenny Snyder, Ehrman. Right, so all women, uh, all the way. And, and they're all three of them executive producers. So. Yes, yeah, so it's it's definitely... Power to the girls. I'll definitely give it a shot, even though usually witches are not my thing. Uh, I mean, paranatural, paranormal things are not my thing. But And it's a bit teenagery, but I will give it a shot. What do you think? Didn't you watch uh, Teenage Witch? Sabrina? Teen Witch? Well, that was definitely... No. <laughs> I rest my case. Well, I love the mother, <laughs> and I love Caroline Rea, oh, yeah. and I love and Caroline I love, Ray. I love mm -hmm. the cat, and I like Sabrina mm -hmm. enough. So anyway, Charmed, uh, CW, October fourteenth. Um, so uh, these two shows, I'm going to go by really quickly because I don't have much to say about them. The first one is Camping on HBO. Um, it's a bizarre kind of a concept, but it is based on a British series, also called Camping. It's starring. Jennifer Garner and Juliette Lewis, and it's about a man's camping trip with his wife and friends spirals out of control. The teaser is very short, they don't show you much. Uh, there is, unfortunately, one lesbian who I think in a tiny, tiny role and is kind of being mocked. Oh, she's probably eaten by a bear. <laughs> May I just say that yeah. this whole description, a man's camping trip with his wife and friends spirals out of control, is to me the very definition of camping. <laughs> Don't go near it, won't touch it, no tents for me, out of doors. Because yes. something will always go terribly wrong. Yes, but this is a comedy, not a horror movie. Mm, uh, that's a very <laughs> fun line. Line. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It didn't really seem that appealing, but we will give it a try. I'm not a Jennifer Garner fan, but it, it is a big name. I am a Jennifer yeah. Garner fan, but I wish she'd go back to her roots. Uh, do, yeah, uh, do, some, do something yeah. more well, interesting. She's never done she's, really she's that gotten many very nicey nicey things. in her old age. Oh, her middle age, excuse me. Her young middle age. Her old age? I don't mean that literally. Okay. Camping uh, on HBO uh, still uh, on October 14th. Now, October 16th, just a, a word, really, not more than that, is The Connors on ABC, which is. Basically, Roseanne without the reboot Roseanne. Of the reboot, <laughs> of, the reboot of Roseanne. But with a, of Roseanne Sounds without Roseanne. Roseanne which um, to me is good news. They're not telling us how exactly they're going to make sh make her leave, but it sounds like she's suddenly passed away, and now they have to deal with the ramifications. I choked on a chicken bone. <laughs> um, so October 16th, The Connors on ABC. Also Octo October 16th. Oh, the kids are all right. Not what you think, unfortunately. Not what you think. Uh, it's <laughs> on uh, Tuesdays on ABC at 8.30 p.m. And it looks really fun, hilarious, nostalgic. Uh, Has nothing to do with lesbians. No. no but could, but could, there might be a, a gay, gay kid. kid. <laughs> anyway, it's set in the 70s. It uh, follows a working class couple, Michael Cudlitz and uh, Mary McCormick. A delightful Mary McCormick. Oh, she looks, she's the center. Yeah. She's the, now, Michael Cudlitz, uh, you'll know from many things, but especially uh, fans of The Walking Dead, though I can't see that many fans of The Walking Dead watching this, but what? nevertheless, it could happen. They have a large family. What is it? Eight, eight kids. Eight, eight sons. Eight sons. Eight all boys. yes. One more, and they could have a baseball team. They should have <laughs> gone for it. Uh, it's created by the Last Man Standing and Better Off Ted veteran Tim Doyle, and um, you know it really looked funny. It's uh, all about 
you know, oh, the craziness of living in a big family, especially well, boys with a strong mother. But more to uh, me. This 1970s nostalgia. It's all about that. And I think what they're doing, uh, because at some point he says something about Watergate is phony news. Um, they're going to be turning a few uh, I, of our conventions. I think what they're going to do is, first of all, I think they're playing on the Make America Great Again. I think they're going to go back and show how, I mean, you know, because they were talking about how people did things that they would never do today, say things they would never say today. I mean, was America really great? <laughs> <laughs> well, and in many, in many ways it was worse, and in many ways it was the same, like phony news, what, I mean, you know. So they're definitely going to use that as uh, to make social commentary on today. Mm -hmm, to make it relevant. And be able to get away with it, because, you know, that those times were... Archie right. Bunker. Archie Bunker said things that... that People lose their jobs for right. on a daily basis. Right. But this is, in those days, everybody, things were much more irreverent. There was far less political right. correctness. And, and actually, they were used to show how bad racism was. They right. were used to show how ignorant it was. Uh, but now you can't even say these things. But uh, this you can't show, even hold it up to uh, a mirror. But this show will allow itself to do a lot more because yeah, it can, so. because it puts itself in a time, a different time, mm -hmm. so it's removed. Also, there's uh, one kid who we think definitely uh, is gay, and it will also show be... Show tunes! Uh, yes, he, he likes show tunes. But, but it was him sort of also trying to find, he's sort of a middle kid, and he's find his... Find something that yes, he's but, special at. Yes, but I think it's... I, I hope so. I think that's what he specializes in in Chotun's mm -hmm. Escape. Mary McCormick looks so fabulously yeah. funny in this, and yeah. she's so powerful, and she is, uh, I think, going to be a matriarch to yes. deal with. It looks so great. The kids are all right. Um, ABC on, did we say, October 16th. Yes. Uh, Oh, highly recommend it. We really, really think it's going to be it's going to be a good one. Absolutely. And now... Oh, I can't wait, my darling Nathan Fillion. Who <laughs> got very thin and very, yeah, very fit. Very been working fit, out, obviously. obviously. Yeah, to because it's going to be the rookie um, Tuesdays on ABC at ten p.m. Also uh, October sixteenth, busy day, busy oh, yes. night. Yeah, um, he's going to play a middle-aged guy who enrolls at the L.A. P Police Academy, becoming the oldest cadet by a long shot. Um, ABC gave it a straight to series order, uh, but has they, they? It says that they haven't formally announced the pickup yet, but it'll be there. There's a trailer. Uh, and yeah. The trailer looks really good. Uh, yeah, another cast of veteran Alex Hawley created the show, and it looks like it's so much fun. He's perfect for this. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an innocence about him and an earnestness that I think will play well. Even though he's um, the lead, he's surrounded by women. Yes, including um, um, Afton Williamson, uh, his blue. partner. Who yes, other, many she plays a, a lot of things, but she plays a, a prominent FBI agent on um, and this Shades of Blue. Mm -hmm. And um, I, uh, Nathan Fillion, cop drama, procedural. The uh, need to make sense. Doesn't yeah, it? <laughs> and I'm just happy to have him there. It looks like a good mix of uh, his kind of comic, uh, sweet self, and his and, and serious drama. Yes, serious and the fact that drama. he actually, even though he's a little bit older, he's th that. Age uh, he and brings experience specialty. brings something special to uh, his judgment mm -hmm. and the way he does things. Yep. So, yes. yeah, definitely looks fun, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll watch it. Ro the Rookie uh, on ABC October sixteenth, Tuesdays. Now, this is where our shows ended because I guess this is fall is not, you know middle of October. I guess is still considered fall, but I'm going to tell you about a show that's coming November second on Amazon Prime because. We have to tell you about it. We're so excited because it's starring Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts. We love Julia Roberts and she's doing television. She's doing Amazon Prime, but yes, she's doing Still television. television. Listen, Meryl is on Big Little Lies this season. So and Meryl has arrived. Yes, but that's not TV. That's HBO. Well, this is not TV. It's Amazon Prime. But what it's I mean TV. is, yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing Meryl on CBS, ain't but Meryl a, on HBO. Ain't on a big screen, baby, <laughs> unless you have a great big television. So it's called The Homecoming. It's a psychological thriller uh, about a caseworker who helps uh, returning soldiers, mm -hmm. right? About vets. Uh, it's starring Julie Roberts. It has Bobby Cannavale in it. Cannavale in it. Uh, Marianne Jean Baptiste. Sissy Spacek is playing her mother. Uh, there isn't a lot out there about it yet. No, we don't know much at all. Well, it's a little early. I mean, you know, there are three three months still. But what more do you need to know? Exactly. Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts. <laughs> uh, in a psychological thriller. So, uh, November 2nd, Amazon Prime. Mark your calendars. You're going to want to see this. 
Now, I want to talk just a little bit before we end this, because we, we told you about all these shows, and really there were many more shows that we thought we were going to like than, than originally we had assumed. That, that we think we're going to like than originally we had assumed. Right, 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 mm -hmm. based on their trailers. But usually this is the, the how it works. It's reading the synopsis, a few fall mm -hmm. uh, in the, by the sideways, then you watch the trailers, a few fall, and then you watch the actual show, a few fall. But this time, really, many made it from synopsis Absolutely. to trailer. <laughs> really, so. really more than I think ever. Yeah. But I, I do have a few takeaways from this. Um, I do definitely see the Black Panther effect, which is there are a lot. There's a lot more diversity in oh uh, race and ethnicity. A lot more diversity. However, I'm not seeing the Wonder Woman effect yet. No. Unfortunately, it seems to me like we're way, way more male than female in this uh, slew of shows. And even if yes, there will be more women in the show than there were probably featured in the trailer, the leads it seems to be more male. More male, absolutely. Um, and it seems to me like an, a really uh, a record of a few years, a record low of gay characters. Um, so it seems. We, we, we won't know until we've seen We won't more know until these. we've seen. Sometimes a gay character doesn't make its entrance. That's right. His but definitely no until. leads, except yeah. for Leslie Jordan, and that's an ensemble show. Well, we've that. never had any... Not very seldom had lead gay characters. I can't, I, the, right, but we have had them, and I am yeah, always so living in hope Andrew that Reynolds. we will have more. Exactly, the new normal. The new normal. The, um, but the, you uh, saw how long that lasted. Pose, um, you know. Well, poses. Glee. Brilliant. There are, there yes. are, well, I've just named two Ryan Murphy shows, so that shows you what. Thank you, you know. Ryan. Um, but, or at least, if not the main character, then maybe. Uh, the, the partner or right. the was something. Well, we may find in some of these. Yes, that some of these. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. But they will not be central enough for me to get. Yay! You know, they'll be peripheral well, again. We'll see. Um, but we'll update you. I'm as, holding as, out hope. We'll update you as we go along when we find them. When we when we manage to find them. Um, but you know, now that uh, Batwoman is going to be a lesbian, maybe we'll see the Batwoman effect sometime in the next year or two. But uh, you know, it's. It's always hard to find gay characters. You know, also, we roles. are in the era of Trump. Well, we and we were we had actually been worried that the success of Roseanne would mean that there would yes, be more shows terrified. geared towards an audience that is uh, less progressive. But then, Roseanne, she, she, she helped. She herself. gave us a hand. She, she help really herself. did. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, of course, there are a lot of returning shows that we're very excited about. Uh, oh, yes. And then there's the mid-season that already has some really exciting shows there, but we, we'll talk about them as we get, mm -hmm. as we get to, to more towards this, that part of the... Anyway... And I just heard that Gina Yashere, one of my favorite comics, a, a black, a female, lesbian, British comic, is, oh, wow. is hired as a writer. She didn't say for what. Oh. Uh, a consultant and a writer, and she cool. says, you know I'll be writing something for myself on that, you know. <laughs> She's got a big, deep voice. She's fabulous. I love her humor. She's she has very several, sardonic. She uh, specials on uh, Netflix, Netflix, if you want to. Gina Yashere, and so I'm looking forward to whatever she's going to be involved in. I just have to tell you that um, I just love Julie Andrews so much, and I think that she's a wonderful, wonderful actress, singer, writer. And well, Where uh, is this coming from? <laughs> Oh, well, I have had, I've had this warning up all this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time that you said something. Um, if anybody wants to talk Julie Andrews at any time, you are welcome to email me because, as you can see... I sort of feel the same way about the Barbara Streisand and Kate Blanchett. Oh, I feel the same way about... Well, I, I don't know if I have as much to say about Kate Blanchett, but definitely Barbara, Barbara Streisand. Streisand. Yes, Barbara Streisand is my Julie Andrews. Well, no, Barbara Streisand is my Julie Andrews, too, but they're they're they're... Don't make me choose! <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> On that note, thank you for joining us. Yes, we hope you enjoyed our um, oh. rundown of the shows, all three of them. Yes. Uh, and uh, we hope that you join us this season in enjoying these shows or bitching about them. And we will probably give you some reviews as we go along. And we would be thrilled, as always, to hear what you thought about anything and anything. And also, everything. if you've heard about something that we missed, oh, please because there are so many out there. That that, we, uh, yes, yeah. and we uh, we tend to sort of gravitate towards the things that we might have an interest in. I don't know, call right. us crazy, but surprise but, us. Uh, surprise yeah, us. absolutely. I mean, as we saw, there were several things here that we did not think. Uh, we were and I know with. there's more supernatural. Uh, or sci-fi kind of stuff coming. I know it. There's, well, there's something some coming. Stuff that, there's uh, something coming on sci-fi. I can't remember stuff. what it's called. 
sci-fi nerds out there help me out with you know this, what and we didn't even think i mean there, you know there could possibly be tnt shows usa shows there yep. are so many it's very i hard know to there's something them. coming from sci-fi i want to see okay so. we will let me just say this we do have weekly podcasts mm -hmm. when we have a vlog still we will let you know follow us everywhere and we will let you know when we know of other shows because you know these days there are so many it's hard so to keep many. track of them but we will do our best Thank you for joining us as always, and we will uh, see you very soon, or podcast, talking to you, whatever. Join us everywhere. Bye! Bye.